Hey everyone, it's Annie, and I'm about to start participating in my very first 24 hour readathon. <laughs> this readathon is hosted by Georgina Reeds, and I'll leave a link to her announcement video in my description box. So, yeah, I've always wanted to participate in a 24 hour readathon, but I always kind of saw the announcements too late or something like that. So, when I saw her announcement video and I realized that I was actually free this weekend, I decided that I just had to participate. So I'm super excited and I'm really looking forward to the next 24 hours and I really hope that I will be able to read a lot. Uh, I am reading five books at the moment. This is my currently reading pile and I really hope that I will be able to finish some of them. The first book I decided to finish is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. This is a collection of her two short stories that accompany her Red Queen series. They're called Queen Song and Steel Scars. I already finished Queen Song, the first story, and I am almost done with Steel Scars, so I think I'll finish this right now. So, by the way, this is my usual reading place, my couch. I have my super fluffy pillow over here and lots of other pillows. <laughs> So it's super cozy under my roof slopes with my Smoking J poster. <laughs> so it is now half past 12 and I just finished Cruel Crown and I'm about to write a short review on Goodreads uh, about the book. I am not sure about the rating yet because it consists of two short stories and I think I'll rate them each separately. Well, and then I'll jump right back into reading and the next book I chose is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I started this yesterday and I'm on page 70. I'm reading this for a buddy read on Goodreads and it's actually the first buddy read I'm doing and I'm really excited because I've always wanted to do one as well. So I have only about 10 more pages to go until the chapter that we decided to stop and then I will message my friend and we can discuss what we've read so far and I'm excited and by the way Look at these two cuties behind me. <laughs> this one I got from a good friend for Christmas. It's it's super cute. <laughs> and this one is for my the little mermaid cosplay that I am about to do for a costume party that I am hosting next month. <laughs> I think I'm really developing a thing for readathons because I actually just started to carry around my book with me while moving through the house. <laughs> So it's now half past one and I just decided to take a short break from reading because I just can't read one book after another if they're completely different. And instead I decided to finish a picture in my coloring book. This is the picture I've been working on during the past months and I still have to color the water in the pond. And here is the little list that I started for the 24 hour readathon to keep track of how many pages I have read. So I have finished my painting and now I'm going back to reading. And the book I uh, decided to continue next is a German fantasy novel by Cornelia Funke, who is uh, probably best known for her Inkheart trilogy. It's called uh, The Feather of a Griffin. I think I talked about it in my birthday book haul video from last year. I am on page 257 and I really hope that I will be able to finish this today. So it is now 20 past 3 in the afternoon and I ate something and then I kind of got stuck talking to my mom and now I finally went back upstairs to my room to get some more reading done. <laughs> Again, it's a quarter past four and I am on page 334 in my German book and now I'm taking another break from reading because I feel like my concentration is fading so I decided to go and eat some cookies and after that I'm driving to the riding stable to look after my horse and then in the evening when I'm back home I will continue with the readathon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh, Finesse is pretty nervous today. I don't know why. <laughs> but at least we're outside. Ooh. Baby. Hi, Noodle. <laughs> I always call her Noodle. Okay. <laughs> and I just came home from the riding stable and it was super cold outside and I am freezing so I just decided to take a hot bath and finish my book in the bathtub. Now I'm cooking noodles. They're not cooking anymore. Why are they not cooking anymore? And besides that I am continuing the book because I am almost done and it's about to get into the final fight scene between the griffin and the dragon. I just finished The Feather of a Griffin by Cornelia Funke and it is 9 p.m. and I read 138 pages in this book and now I will go to Goodreads and write a review for this book too which is going to be somewhat complicated because I really enjoyed this book but I would have probably enjoyed it a lot more if I read it some years ago when I was still younger because it's definitely a children's slash middle grade fantasy but I will figure something out for the review and then I will probably read another book but I don't know yet which one because I have several unread books on my shelves. I have two other books checked out from the library that I haven't started yet and I also have another book from the library that I could finish. So there are definitely enough books that I could read but maybe I'll also watch an episode of Pretty Little Liars on Netflix just to do something else. I am not sure yet but I will keep you guys updated. So for the past hour I basically did nothing, I just was on my phone and watched some booktube videos and googled some binge-worthy Netflix shows. Uh, so now I finally decided to continue reading and the book I will continue to read next is End of Days by Susan E. This is the third and final book in the Angel Fall trilogy and I am almost done with it. I have about a hundred pages to go and I think I will finish this tonight. <laughs> So by the way, I just love this bookmark. This is some incredible fan art of the Mortal Instruments that I found online. So I just had to print it out and use it as a bookmark. <laughs> I read one page and somebody just died. So I'm a little bit shocked right now. Probably it wasn't a good idea to read a post-apocalyptic novel after a children's fantasy novel because this is something completely different and I totally didn't expect it right now. I just made myself a cup of tea in my favorite The Hundred themed mug which I designed myself online. I love that mug. Here it has the sign of the little headpiece that my favorite character of the show wears on her forehead. And here it says Hedda, which means commander in the language that was developed just for the show, which is awesome. <laughs> I've attempted to learn it. And on the other side, I put the tattoo which the character has down her back. It is midnight now, and that means that the half of the 24-hour readathon has passed for me, because I started my readathon yesterday at noon. I am almost finished with end of days. I have about 30 pages left to read and I'm not sure if I will be able to finish this book right now because I feel that my eyes are getting tired but I'm determined to finish this book within the readathon. So if I won't be able to finish it right now then I will definitely finish it tomorrow after I wake up. So now it's 1am and I just brushed my teeth and got ready for bed and now I am going to my bedroom with my book because I decided to read the last 30 pages in bed and hopefully I will finish it now. <laughs> Ooh, here I am again. You can see me again. Here is my bed. Yay. I guess <laughs> I'm pretty tired and I guess this is why I'm acting a bit strange. Hello again, I'm back. It's Sunday and I just had breakfast with my mom and now it's half past 11 and that means that I only have 30 minutes left in my 24-hour readathon. But I decided to start a new book anyway and the book that I chose to start is The Midnight Star by Marie Lou. So this is the German edition. I bought this two weeks ago when it uh, got published here in Germany and it is the conclusion to her Young Elites trilogy. 
So let's see how many pages I will manage to read right now until my 24 hour readathon ends. And last night I actually managed to finish end of day, so that were another 113 pages that I read yesterday. <laughs> It's 12 o'clock, the 24 hour readathon is over. I had super much fun, it was so cool just to read for 24 hours and not to think about anything else. And I also think I was pretty successful. So I made this list where I kept track of uh, how many pages I read. So here are all the books that I read. I read 11 pages in Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard and finished this book. And then I read 18 pages in Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I read 138 pages in The Feather of a Griffin by Cornelia Funke and finished this book as well. And then I finished another book, which was End of Days by Susan E. And I read 113 pages in this one. And today I read another 58 pages in The Midnight Star by Marie Lou. <laughs> so I counted them all together and in total I read 338 pages in 24 hours, which I think is pretty good. I think that this definitely wasn't my last 24 hour readathon. So I'm super happy I participated in this one and I also want to say thank you to Georgina for hosting it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!